Hello dear friends myself Sunil Sonigra and today in the subject of mechanical drafting we will consider a chapter titled as intersection and penetration of solids and surfaces and in this chapter we will cover the solutions of examples based on intersection of prism cylinder and cone and the objectives of today's presentation covers the first objective to understand the concept of intersection and penetration of solids and surfaces and to solve typical examples based on intersection of prism cone and cylinder so the first problem we have discussed the fundamentals of such kind of top, such kind of topic in earlier session today we will consider we will just solve the problems and the data of the problem is given like this a vertical cone base diameter 150 mm and axis 200 mm long is completely penetrated by a cylinder of 90 mm diameter the axis of the cylinder is parallel to hp and vp and intersects the axis of the cone at a point 60 mm above the base draw projections showing curves of intersection so in this problem first we have to in such kind of problem first we have to consider the standing solid so in this case a standing solid is a vertical cone and the cone is resting on its circular base so first we have to draw a cone its top view front view and side view and in the second step the penetrating solid is given in this case the penetrating solid is cylinder having diameter 90 mm and length is undefined so then after we have to draw this penetrating solid in the side view of the cone and after that we will we will uh, find out the points of intersection and can draw the curves of intersection so now the steps for thinking for this problem the first step standing solid is a cone diameter 150 mm height 200 mm then top view is a circle diameter 150 mm and front view is a triangle as it's a cone so first draw top view front view and side view by projections penetrating solid is a cylinder diameter 90 mm in this case draw side view of cylinder that is circle diameter 90 mm axis is 60 mm above the base this is given condition the axis of cylinder is 60 mm above the base that is given data so in the side view if you want to draw a circle the circle center should be 90 mm should be 60 mm above the xy line take projections select appropriate points and then draw the curve of intersection as here cylinder is there the curve of intersection would be curvature shape it will not be straight lines so first we draw solution of this problem first draw xy line which represent represents intersection of horizontal plane and vertical plane then draw a circle below xy line having diameter 150 mm then divide the circle into equal number of parts these divisions are made to draw imaginary generators over the outer periphery or outer surface of the cone as the cone is not having edges we divide its slant edges into imaginary lines then name the end points say a b c d e f g and h after that draw its front view by taking projections from its top view say vertical lines from a b c d and so on and accordingly height of this cone is given that is 200 mm so height of this triangle would be 200 mm then name respective points dash points a dash b dash c dash up to g dash and h dash draw a meter line that is the line drawn to the right side of top view or left side of the top view to take projections and to draw its side view which is at an angle of 45 degree with xy line from points of top view say g c b d draw projection line and these lines will cut the meter line at two points and from those two points draw vertical line and we can project its a side view so height can be 
projected from this front view we can draw directly straight line from here and two vertical lines from here and no need to insert the dimension just we can draw this triangle so this is the side view of given cone now name the respective points from top view as well and draw those imaginary generators which we have drawn in front view also now name the apex point o dash and o this is o double dash or we can represent it as o1 or o now draw a circle in the side view in such a way that the axis of this cylinder or axis of this circle that is this point center of this circle is at a distance of 60 mm above this xy line mark here the center and draw a circle over here having diameter 90 mm that is 45 m mm is the radius after drawing this circle name the end points on the generator of the cone so intersection of this circle and the imaginary generators drawn over the surface of this cone say for example here point number 1 here is point number 2 point number 3 that is the end point point number 4 5 6 7 and 8 we can take any number of points but for clarity and smooth functioning or smooth curve we have, we have taken these eight points now from all these points draw straight horizontal lines say so from point 1 2 3 4 all these points draw straight horizontal lines that is projection lines drawn in the front view similarly the length of the cylinder is given so according to the given length that is axis draw here the cylinder half length on this side half length on this side take projection uh, mark the points and draw a rectangle here in this case the rectangle would be in this portion which is inside the cylinder will not be visible hence this uh, this should be represented by dotted line now take projection from this front view to this meter line vertical lines from 3 and 3 and 7 it will cut the meter line at two points and from those points draw horizontal lines like this and then these are the end points of the <coughs> cylinder in top view now from here also we can take projection from this to this or we can mark the points at a distance half length of the cylinder and if the length of the cylinder is not given we can assume any length say 100 mm or 200 mm if 200 mm is the length taken by us then this distance would be 100 millimeter 100 on either side now find out the points of intersection this is the points of intersection between the cylinder and the cone one point is here second point would be here how to find out the position of this point so for that let me see this point this is point number two it is on this generator o days b days so find out position of o days and this in this view so this is that generator a b c d o days d days this is generator o days d days on o d two point is there so on o days d days point number two would be here similarly point number three is here and point number four is on o d so from four draw horizontal line and that will cut this O dash D dash at this point. So this is the point of intersection. Like this. Now to find out the position of point number 3. Let me draw projection from here. Point number 2 and 8. Name those points. Then to find out position of this point number 7. Let me draw the generator which passes through point number 7. So join O double dash to 7 so this is the generator now draw this generator in a top view as well as in front view so for that from here draw straight vertical line it will cut meter line at this point horizontal line from point here it will cut this cylinder this circle at two points one point is here another point is here so from both these two points from both these two points draw vertical line join those two points with the apex point or center point o so this is the generator on which point number seven is lying now from here draw straight vertical line it will cut the base at this point join this point with the apex point of this cone one point is here 
another point is here so these are the two generators which we have drawn which passes through point number 7 now point number 7 is on this generator so from point 7 draw here horizontal line and that will cut these two generators at one point at here another point is here so we have located six points on this curve on this intersection for rest two points point number four is here so from point number four draw horizontal line it will cut o dash d dash and o dash have b dash at two points one point is here another point is here so mark those points point number five is here which is on o dash a dash and o dash e dash so from point five draw horizontal line that will cut o dash a dash at this point o dash e dash at this point and that is the position of point in front view now join all these points with the smooth curve so this would be its front view or curve of intersection in front view now <coughs> these edges would be visible as it's an out outside edges so these edges would not be visible these edges are the edges of cylinder which is invisible it is in it is inside the cone so to be represented by the dotted line as represented over here now we draw top view of this position so for top view from this point draw straight vertical line it will cut o e generator at this point as it is on o dash e dash for this point name these two points mark on o e in the top view now to find out position of this point so point number one so from point number one draw straight vertical line and the point number one is on o e and o a so mark here two points on o e and o a so these are the two points of intersection in top view similarly for point number two from this point draw straight vertical line and this point is on o d and o b so on o d this is o d top view this is front view of top view of o b on those generators mark two points like this two points over here two points on this side also o h and o f because here two generators are there o h o f o d and o b so we have located these points similarly from these points draw straight vertical line that will cut o d and o b at two points mark those points similarly with the same analogy we can find out position of this end point point number three and seven vertical line from point three it will cut o to this generator over here and join all these points with a smooth curve and in this portion it would be visible from here to here if you look from the top this portion would be visible so these points are to be joined with the smooth line solid line and this back side would not be visible hence it is represented by the dotted line and mirror image would be there on this side also so with the same analogy we can draw its top view in this side also this would be the dotted line because the cylinder would not be visible because of the cylinder this cone base would not be visible in this portion so it is represented by the dotted line over here here also with the dotted line this line will be will not be visible as a, it would be it would be dotted lines this is front view this is top view and this is left hand side view so i hope the solution of this problem is clear to you now second problem <coughs> the data is given like this a vertical square prism with 50 mm base and 110 mm height standing on its base with a vertical face inclined at 30 degree to vp it is completely penetrated by another square prism of 40 mm base 110 mm axis the penetrating prism has its axis perpendicular to profile plane and a 10 mm in front of axis of the prism the rectangular base of penetrating prism is inclined at 30 degree to hp and its axis is 55 mm above the base of the vertical prism draw lines of intersection so steps for thinking in this problem which are the steps which we should think first to solve the problems like this so first step is standing solid and here in this case it's a square prism 50 mm side length and 110 mm height 
second vertical phase 30 degree inclined to vp it is given in the data draw top view front view and side view by projection in such a way that its vertical face face makes an angle of 30 degree with vp that is with xy line then penetrating solid is also a square prism having side length 40 mm and length 110 mm axis is 55 mm above xy line it is given and 10 mm away from the axis of standing solid that is square prism so draw top view and other views take projections select appropriate points and find out the lines of intersection so here both are the square prism a curvature shape would not be there there would be the straight lines which will represent the intersectional view so let me draw the this problem problem number 2 over here so here <coughs> first it is given that the axis or the face makes an angle of 30 degree with xy line so this is these are the steps which are already drawn over here this is xy line and with this xy line draw a square in such a way that say this is xy line and with this xy line draw a line which makes an angle of 30 degree with xy line say so this is the line 30 degree angle after drawing this line which makes an angle of 30 degree with xy line here square is given having 40 mm side so here mark two points at a distance of 40 mm one point is here another point is here and taking this as one side of the square complete this square like this having 40 mm sides which is drawn over here so first we have to draw this top view after that from this top view we take projection from all these points draw straight vertical lines over here height of this square prism is given that is 110 mm so at a distance of 110 mm mark here point and complete this rectangle from here draw straight vertical line like this and complete this rectangle so that is the front view of this square prism similarly by taking projection from these points horizontal line from point here from this point from all these four points mark 